I, I do want to talk about this very important change that Google made two days ago. Um, and the change that they made is as long as you are logged into an account, Google defaults to HTTPS search. And when it defaults to that and I click on a link, I just I, I search for the word Markimotive, so just as an example. And I clicked on this link and I arrived on Markimotive. Now, what happened two days ago is that Google changed the way that the referral was sent to Markimotive. If this had happened last Friday, Markimotive's web analytics tool, with any tool, would be able to capture that the click came from Google, and it would be able to capture the fact that the keyword searched on was market space motive. Um, and that would be last Friday. Um, two days ago, Google changed something where if you are logged in, as I was, into google.com, um, it dynamically switched me to HTTPS search rather than HTTP. And what the, the change entails is that if I did this search today, which I just did, one piece of information would be missing. Market Motive would still know that I came from Google. That would be recorded in the Web Analytics tool. But Market Motive would not get the keyword. Market Motive space search was the keyword I used to come to this website. The Web Analytics tool will not get that keyword anymore from Google for users who are logged in. So it's very, very important for you to know that this change happened and that this change happened for all web analytics tool. Google Analytics got, as some people might say, screwed, to use the impolite <laughs> term, don't tweet that, don't tweet that, <laughs> just like every other web analytics tool. Um, so I do want to, I, I, I want you to know that that happened. And of course, it is all over social media, blah, 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 so you probably know. But, but what I want to do is, is actually tell you how to measure the impact of this on your website. So. If you go into Google Analytics today, actually let's just go to Google, I want to show you on the screen. You go to Google Analytics, go to Traffic Sources, then you go to Sources, then you go to Search, and then you go to Organic, okay? Organic. And here I am, okay? Now what you would do here, in order to find out the impact of place, the number of keywords that you might not be getting, right? What you would do, just for now, is you would go and change the date range and I, I, in this case, to demonstrate this, I'm going to change the date range from 19th of October to the 20th of October. 20th of October is now, so I'm, I'm including real-time data in here. And I'm going to hit Apply. I'm just going to hit Apply. And when I hit Apply, the first thing I notice is 3,261 visits have come during the last 36 hours to my blog from Google, uh, from search engine, from search engine. And I'm looking for this row of data. Row, row number three is very important. There is a value called not provided in the keyword. Not provided in parentheses. If you don't see it in your table, just go here in the advanced filter and just type in not provided. And hit enter and, and you will see it. In my case, I, I didn't have to do that because I can actually already see it. And that will actually tell you specifically how often this change is impacting your website. So in your scenario, in, in our scenario here, in my, my blog, 62 of the 3,262 visits actually occurred by where I do not know what the keyword is uh, because of this change in Google. So a lot of people are freaked out about this and all that, which I, I respect, I understand, and I empathize with. Uh, what I wanted to show you is how you can measure for yourself how, what the, how many people who come to your website um, are logged in, and hence the keyword query is not provided to you. Um, so it's, it just look for this, and that's how you can estimate the impact of this on your own data. Of course, one and a half day does not a mountain make. I just wanted you to get a quick understanding of what the impact is. Um, over the next few weeks, you will do this analysis again and again. And in a few weeks, you will get a much better sense for what percent of the visits have this uh, happening. Uh, I encourage you not to look at, be, be sort of look at non-information and make up your mind about the impact, uh, because there's a lot of FUD out there. I just want to give you the actual facts. So if you have uh, Omniture, Core Metrics, Google Analytics, uh, uh, whatever tool, log in your tool right now, look at this, and underestimate the impact on you. I just want to caution, if you have other web analytics tools and not Google Analytics, this row might be called something else. Not provided is a value Google Analytics is using. 
uh, your vendor might be using something else. So ask, call them and ask them what it is and how they will show it. Uh, but you should know that you have access to this data in order to understand what the impact is. And of course, uh, the, the, the question is, well, where do we get that list of uh, keywords that we've all been so dependent on? Um, and as I understand it, the answer is that yeah. you can still get the list of organic keywords being used from Google Webmaster Tools. If you log in. I mean, yeah, so Webmaster Tools, uh, here it is. and. Um, I actually, I'm logged into a different account, but, but here we go. So Webmaster Tools is the place where aggregated data will be visible. Um, it will give you some exposure to those clicks, but you can't go into Webmaster Tools and say, show me the 62 ones that you didn't show me in Google Analytics. <laughs> yes, not, uh, right. Uh, it will just give you an aggregate. So it gives you some visibility into it, but I have to admit that um, that you won't be able to see everything. Uh, so that, that, that's super important to know. Um, um, so some, some visibility is lost. If you are doing paid search, there is no change. Everything is just fine. Um, if you're doing paid search, uh, you will still get the query no matter what and everything, everything, everything. Uh, this impacts only organic, so notice I clicked on only organic, so that's how kind of you would um, you would do this. Um, I wanted to give you some fact-based information yeah. about this yeah. problem. Um, and, and, uh, Avinash, the, 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 I think the, the, the change here is not really to Google Analytics. The change, of course, is to um, the search itself. And, and exactly. The search, has the search really hasn't, the search is not really attempting to um, block anything um, directly. It just so happens that the way that they construct the URL on the search side using HTTPS um, doesn't expose the keyword anymore because of you know the way that the URL is now constructed. And so it, it makes no difference which analytics tool you use, just to emphasize this, um, even like Google Analytics, the premium service, it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not really an analytics thing. It's a, it's a change no, to it the search, search engine itself. I, I cannot emphasize that enough. I cannot, and thank you, John, for doing that. As it is a, our brothers and sisters at Omniture, Core Metrics, everybody <laughs> has to deal with this problem, sadly. Uh, just the same. Um, so it is a change to search, and primarily driven by this thing that you see in the address bar, this HTTPS, the S thing. Um, so in some sense, it is uh, the fact that the session goes to an encrypted version, and then internet protocols take over the way the things get constructed, yada, yada, yada. Um, so that's, that's the reason that all this is happening. But I, I did want you to know that you can specifically measure how much this is happening for yourself by using this simple trick, not even trick, a simple method, um, so that you use information to make a decision and not the non-information floating around. <laughs> Thank you for, for taking the time to point it out. I, I read about this. Um, funny thing is, you know, I read about this a couple of days ago, and I know lots of people got really um, worked up about this, but I interpreted it exactly the same way, that this is really a change on the search engine side, and it's done Correct. for privacy reasons, and I think is a legitimate, given the concern that Google has for privacy of users, is a, is a legitimate change. Due to the peculiarities of HTTPS, it's necessary to... Um, change the way the URL itself works, otherwise you, you would be exposing to everybody, you know, the the, um, the uh, search term, which maybe people don't want it to see exposed. So to me, it all seemed perfectly reasonable, and it's sort of an unfortunate side effect that the data that we've come to know and love is is uh, less readily available and less quality because we can get it from webmaster tools. But nevertheless, yeah, you know, nevertheless, yeah, change. and I, I I do personally believe that it is a tough trade-off to make, but the fact that uh, privacy wins in this case and our data uh, becomes ever so slightly um, uh, little uh, vague um, is a trade-off I am personally comfortable with, although I have no say in how these decisions get made anywhere. Um, I'm, I'm but, but, but the most important thing is you can get the facts for yourself from your own web analytics tools, uh, and it affects every tool regardless.